plus a first of its kind groundbreaking for what is supposed to be California's largest cannabis cultivation site. But is it allowed? Seems like this is something that's going to be pretty permanent in California for a while. Why the permits may not save this site from a legal battle. A local marijuana grower is working on building one of the largest cultivation sites in the state with 18 greenhouses and more than 50,000 square feet of land. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Christina James. I'm Tony Lopez. There are currently 70 licensed pot growers in Yolo County, but not as big as this. Let's show you where. The site is located on the edge of Woodland off County Road 24A and East Street, south of a residential neighborhood and west of the Woodland Sports Park. CBS 13's Carlos Correa is live in Yolo County with the project causing concern for several neighbors. Carlos? Hey, good evening to you. During the summer is when a lot of people in this neighborhood say they smell the most marijuana and are concerned what a bigger pot operation would do to the air right here. Barry Cooper has owned a home in Yolo County since the mid-70s and until recently started noticing a big stench blowing into his neighborhood. When the wind blows out of the south, it's like living in a skunk farm. It, it, it gets in the house, gets on your car. And it, it just bothers me. It just, you know, affects the quality of life. For the smell he's talking about is marijuana, and it's coming from nearby, where construction is planned to create the largest legally permitted greenhouse cannabis cultivation site. I could care less how somebody makes a living. It's none of my business how people make a living. Under the current ordinance, county leaders look at a couple of things before granting anyone permits, including where the location of the business is and if the owner is a good neighbor. In Yolo County, we have a history of having people who really have a long term view of the use of their property and their agriculture crops. Uh, farmers are actually very good environmentalists in my opinion. However, if, if you're going to um, inconvenience thousands of people around you or at least a thousand people directly to your north for your one term short term gain of growing one marijuana, one marijuana crop, you're not the kind of person we want to do business with. By the beginning of the year, owners of Smart Cannabis will have a facility capable of outputting hundreds of pounds of marijuana every week. And if growers like them want to continue doing business in the county, leaders say they have to practice being good neighbors and work to fix the odor problem. The reality is, is that this is a new industry. Some of these people aren't real farmers. They're trying to learn a new crop. Now, we did talk to that pot grower this afternoon, and he did not want to talk about his new project just yet. In the meantime, county leaders are considering a marijuana tax they want to put on the ballot for June 2018. Growing pains in more ways than one. Carlos Correa live in Yellow County. Thanks, Carlos. The cannabis industry is expected to see a big boom in California since its legalization. By taxing cannabis, the state is expected to bring in an estimated $1 billion in new tax revenue. That's according to the Legislative Analyst Office. And by the year 2020, money made off cannabis sales is expected to increase in the state by $6.64 billion. And that's according to market research conducted back in 2016. If you'd like to see more stories about marijuana cultivation and the process to implement the legalization of marijuana, we have them. Check out our website, cbs13.com.